okay hi welcome <laughs> this is my video it's gonna be a short video today just to get you to do a few nice warm-ups and also to take you through energy block release one so that is the foundation sequence of drew and it's the one that uh, all the other energy block releases really used to build on so really important and it will take you through the whole body so afterwards i promise you're going to feel really fantastic so first of all just start by warming up so shake out both your hands give them a nice shake and into those elbows into the shoulders shaking both the arms noticing how you're feeling today Notice any creaky little bits and modifying anything that you need to, always listening to your own body. Start to bounce on your knees. So you're bending those knees. Remember to bend the knees always, always keeping the joints nice and soft. Let the arms start to swing forwards and back, using your breath as you do it, getting the breath going a little bit, breathing in as you come up, breathing out as you come back. And then opening the arms up to the sides, breathing in crossing them over at the front so that you're alternating them one way and then the other really bend those knees notice how the shoulders feel so if you can swing the arms all the way up and all the way back doing that breath in and a breath out so getting these arms moving getting the shoulders moving taking the shoulders back and then coming forward using the breath in always as you open up and breathing out as you come forward doing that a little bit more each time if you're doing that make sure you're bending those knees more so the further you go down the more you're going to bend the knees you don't have to go very far maybe just down to the thighs maybe down towards the knees or just could be that you might want to come all the way down, touch the floor and come all the way back up. So do what is right for you. Remember, you only go as far as you feel that you want to go. Listening to your own body, you're your own expert. Keeping yourself nice and safe. Thinking that everything I do is just an invitation. And then bringing the arms forward. So you're polishing now a window in front of you. Try to stretch the arms out a little bit, but keep the elbows nice and soft. And then coming up over your head, around to the sides. So you're trying to reach that little bit further than you can actually get. And you're getting the windows really gleaming. Imagine you're looking down now into the earth and you're shining that space as well. All the way around you, gleaming, sunshine bright and sparkling coming back to the center a little shake out of the hands again bring the elbows in and we'll do the finger flick so take the thumb and your index finger and try to flick that finger if you find you can't do that just tap the finger with the thumb so you can tap or flick and then each finger to the next finger to your middle finger, to your ring finger, and all the way to the little finger. Give the fingers and the hands a little shake out. Still keeping those elbows in, make fists of the hands. See if you can rotate your wrists one way, rotate your wrists the other way. So you're warming up your wrists now, your joints, and releasing out. Closing and opening the fingers, see if you can open and then just close to the base of the fingers. Again, don't force it if your fingers are not happy with this. Just do what you can, never straining, just doing it to your own capacity. And then folding the fingers, folding them. It's as though you're trying to touch your wrists and then releasing. Releasing the arms out, giving a little shake all the way around, shake the whole body. Nice shake shaking everything, a little wobble, noticing any wobbly bits, and then taking the hands, a little slap down the legs. Again, don't have to go all the way down the legs. And you could be doing this in a chair if you wanted. You can bend the knees as you come down. So make sure that you're not compromising your back in any way. You are bending those knees. 
and get some nice sounds going. You regulate how much you're tapping, how much you're slapping, using the hands, using the fingertips, whatever works best for you. Your bottom, giving that a nice firm slap, get some nice sounds going there. The belly, get some very interesting sounds going there. Into the lower back, where you've got your kidneys, you're giving a little tap either side, stimulating those kidneys. Give a little rub there as well. And then coming to the chest, slapping one side of your chest and then down the arm. Outside, inside, outside, inside. And then the other side, slapping the chest outside and inside, outside, inside. Fists onto your chest. Now just underneath the collarbone, a nice tap. Really good for your immune system. And good for your lungs as well. And then down the sternum again for your lungs, your immunity. Should be starting to feel a tingly feeling all over your body now. And then taking the hands again, a little shake out. Taking the fingertips now and giving a quick rub of the fingernails across each other really quickly. And then releasing the hands down, feeling that tingling into the hands. I'm going to open up the feet nice and wide now, breathing. And as you breathe out, you're going to bend the knees and breathe out through the mouth. So do that two more times, breathing in. And one final time, breathing in. And hanging down for a moment before you slowly come up. Uncurling, breathing in, lifting the arms all the way up towards the sky or the ceiling, circling the arms around, and then bringing yourself back up to standing. Into now your mountain pose. So we're going to stand now. And start to just allow yourself to settle into that position. Feet need to be hip distance apart. So you can do this quite easily just by tapping the heels together, Charlie Chaplin style. If they're touching, opening them up, that should be about the right distance. If you want to check a little bit more, then simply take the heel, one heel to the other instep, rotating on the ball of the feet and then rotate back without lifting the foot. That again should be your hip distance. And the final way of doing this is taking the hands, two fists together, and then we're going to take them down and in between the feet. So bend your knees as you do this, always protecting that back. Two fists, that should be the distance. And then coming up. Breathe in again as you curl your way up. And now you should be standing. Nice firm base now. So that if you lift up the toes and give them a little spread out, you can feel the toes really settling into the ground. And then you can move yourself to the toes and back again. And we're going to actually rock through the soles of the feet. So you're lifting up the toes, lifting up the heels, rocking forward and back to begin with. And then bring yourself back to standing and draw yourself back into that standing mountain. Imagine that you've got roots now growing through the soles of your feet and into the earth, spreading out, holding you tall and firm. Feet feel really rooted into the earth. Take the knees and push them back so you feel a lock just for a second and then release so you know that you've got a micro bend there. Soft joints. Think about your core pelvic floor front and back engaging it just a little bit and your abdominals here where you'd pull on jeans so you're pulling them on and you've still got to keep wearing them all day so make sure that you've got nice distance there so you can breathe so you're going to be able to breathe throughout this keeping that breath going taking the shoulders back up around and then down so the shoulders are resting they're not living up here they're coming down that's the place where they really should be all the time and then the chin comes slightly back and down so that it brings the top of your head flat underneath the ceiling or in line with the sky imagine you've got this cord drawing you up 
So it's like you're being pulled all the way upwards and at the same time you're rooting yourself down and into the earth. And just breathe for a few breaths here. Feeling strong and tall. And then starting to move through the sequence. So move the weight towards the feet and then back towards the heels. So now the feet, soles of the feet are staying onto the mat. Allowing yourself to go forward and back. Forward and back. And bring yourself to the centre, so you feel that central, central place. And we're going to go now towards the right. So we're going towards the toes, making a circle to your right side, to your heels, to your left. To your toes, to your right side, to your heels. And then all the way back. To the toes and centering. Feeling really straw, strong and tall and centered again. Taking now your hand, right hand comes to your belly button. So this is your powerhouse, your Manipura chakra. You're going to take the other hand around, arm is circling around, and then towards the eyebrows, just in front of the eyebrows, to front of Ajna chakra. This is your third eye to breathe in, bend the knees a little bit and expand upwards and then take the stretch over to the right side. Again, listening to your own body, going to the distance that feels right for you. Try to keep the arm up. If you do have any heart issues, try not to keep the arms up for too long. So you could take the arms down in that case and then circling that hand around and down and then taking the other hand in front and lifting the other arm up, left arm this time, and then expanding, breathing in, and taking the stretch over to the other side. And we'll do that one more time, both sides. So it's like you're turning the wheel, a wheel of energy, resetting the hands and the arms, expanding upwards, taking the stretch over, Keeping all those joints nice and soft, circling that gigantic wheel around and taking yourself to the other side. Last time, stretching up and coming over. And then coming back, taking the arms in front of you, make sure those shoulders are down, the knees are bent. You're drawing back the shoulder blades. Feel those shoulder blades and then lift up. So we're thinking about lengthening the spine here, breathing in as we stretch all the way up, but don't straighten the arms completely. It's about 80%. And then coming back on the breath out and drawing shoulder blades back again, keeping the shoulders down, keeping your core engaged, bending the knees. And this time, seeing if you can come up towards your toes, lifting yourself up using your core, using the toes to push down, big toes pushing down gives you a bit more stability and then slowly coming back with that control. Don't worry if you go for a little walk, it doesn't matter. Taking the arms back and down to the sides now, just allowing the shoulders to loosen up a little bit there. Taking now your head, imagine you've got something underneath your chin like a small ball or a satsuma Allowing the head to look down towards the mat on that breath out, breathing in as you look up. So again, coming up and over and down. Obviously now working the neck, coming back and up. Now keeping the shoulders down, taking the back of your ear towards your right side and to the centre and to the left and then coming back to the right only as far as feels right for you and make sure the shoulders are not coming up to meet the ear it's the other way around and then to the other side and back to the center so now you're turning the whole head towards your right 
and then back to the center and towards the left remember you could always do this sitting down if you wanted to do that works just as well and then coming back one final time towards your left and back to the center okay so releasing the shoulders down taking the hands down to the shoulder but Hold the fingers in, make sure those knees are soft, you're going to breathe in, make sure you're not going to hit anything here. So as you breathe out, you're going to actually lengthen the arms out 80%. So it's a breath in, out, and you turn the hands as you do that. So we'll do that two more times, breathing in, and one last time, breathing in, and it's 80% letting go, and releasing the arms back, and down to the side. Shoulders coming back and down. Now take now your little finger up and the thumbs. So the little finger's pointing upwards, the thumbs are coming back. And we're doing this rotation of the shoulders now. So again, it's all to do with the shoulders and the shoulder joints here. But see if you can get that all the way down into the fingers. So you're actually separating each finger as you do this. Make sure the joints are still soft and see if you can move the shoulders all the way forward and all the way back, but don't do any kind of straining. So only take this to what is right for you. And you're gradually raising the arms. And this is quite a strong one on the shoulders. So make sure that you're challenging yourself a little bit. So do feel that but at the same time, always listening to your body. You can always lower the arms if you really need to, but try not to. If you can take them to shoulder height, that's just about perfect. And then we're going to take both palms down and you raise up your right palm, but keep the other palm hand out. So you're looking towards your right and then towards your left. So all you're moving here is your arms through to the shoulder joints, that ball and socket joint, and your head, your neck is moving from side to side. And this is the one where you do smile. So remember the smile. So I'm imagining you all at home, not smiling, frowning. So see if you can. Give us a little smile inside, then that's fine. And if you want to take heel to ankle, then please do. Heel to ankle. So you should have been hip distance apart, so you shouldn't have to move the feet very far. Just raising one foot as you do it, resting it onto the ankle and really thinking about being this beautiful Bollywood dancer or actress. And then we bring ourselves back and we have to come all the way down. So finishing that off with that rotation again, still thinking about the fingers, fingers, arms, shoulders all the way down and then releasing the arms backwards and forwards just a few times shaking it out because that is quite a strong one on the arms and then allowing yourself to settle yourself back into your mountain pose again just resetting tadasana again for a moment so we're going to take the hands to the shoulders again and now make circles with the elbows so it's small circles with the elbows, bending the knees a little bit as you do this, breathing in as you come around and up, breathing out as you come back. And you can stay with a smaller movement or if you feel happy to do so, taking the elbows in, touching the elbows and circling all the way around and back, really opening up the chest. And if you're doing that, make sure as you're coming down, you're bending those knees so that you're bringing a little bit more movement into that, breathing in and breathing out and so if you can take this for a really nice long time you can do this seated in a chair if you want really good if you are using your computer all of you working at home at the moment stuck on computers do this every so often even while you're just sitting at the computer and we always have to counterbalance by rotating in the other way so opposite way same kind of distance it could be the small movements or the bigger movements, whatever is working best for you. Using that breath as well as you do it. 
and then bringing yourself back allowing the arms to swing shaking them out a little bit and then you're going to open up the feet that little bit wider tuck the arms in front of you nice and soft again make sure they're not straight out they're soft i'm going to take a turn now towards your right get a twist here and then come back to the center and taking the twist in the other direction looking behind you and coming back so now we're going to turn our right foot towards the side lift up our left heel and start to take a much deeper twist so i'm turning now i'm touching my shoulder with my hand and my right hand is coming behind and touching the opposite hip and i can really turn now the whole way look behind me and let me see the dog who's having a rest and the cat is watching me so coming back to the center and resetting again before you take the turn in the other direction now towards the left left foot pointing towards the left back heel right heel lifting take that twist touching shoulder touching hip opposite hip breathing into that enjoying that twist and then slowly drawing yourself back and into the center lowering the arms back and down and getting yourself back into your hip distance apart taking the hands behind the back so you're supporting the back breathing into a small back bend and then breathing out and coming down and forward and this is a spinal wave breathing in as you come back breathing out you should come down and arching that back lifting up the head last using your breath breathing out as you come down breathing in as you come back keep those movements small you don't have to go any further or deeper but if you're happy to do so then you do make it lower but bend the knees more you're using your core so think about the core pelvic floor and abdominals making sure they're engaged using the breath as well as you do this and you're also using the thigh muscles and if you make it deeper and if you can you can come all the way down over the thighs all the way up supporting your back doing it one final time small movements bigger movements really up to you and getting ready finally to come down hanging over your legs so the next time just allowing yourself to hang down knees are soft feet are slightly wider now and then take a circle around on the ground with the hands breathing as you take the circle around swaying from side to side turn your right foot towards the right side circle around and over that side to the left and circling remember you don't have to come all the way down if this isn't working for you coming back to the center shuffle the feet back together again hip distance apart fingertips on the mat this is where it gets a little bit more challenging so you might want to miss this one out you might want to go into a chair and do it that way but for everybody else stay like this and you can stay here or you can go into your balance take the hands down keep the fingertips onto the mat taking the heels back straightening up the legs maybe halfway maybe straightening them out completely and now you're stretching out your hamstrings breathing into that and then bending the knees and coming back and down one more time into your balance and coming down and then you can either just come up and take a rest so come all the way back and up throwing yourself up arms coming up overhead hands down and then stand for a moment in your mountain pose breathing into the soles of your feet and enjoying feeling that energy settle or come down one more time to the floor bending your knees so this is only for people who've got um, 
strong knees. If your knees any knee issues, don't be doing this. And going to have a go at just doing something a little bit more energetic for those of you that want it. So we're going to do a sort of a frog. This is froggy. So you're going to keep the hands, fingertips onto the mat. Going to breathe in, and then as you breathe out, you're going to be standing up. And come back down. And try not to fall over. So we'll do that a few times. So we're going to breathe in. And then final time, just straightening up, shuffling the feet together. Just feel that now in your thighs. Release the hands and then drawing yourself all the way up. Breathing in, circling the arms up and around, taking the shoulders back and down. And then everybody spending a few final moments standing in your mountain pose. Remember to reset, check everything is soft, core engaged, breathing, visualizing your breath through the soles of the feet, up through the body and spine, crown of the head. And as you breathe out, visualize that breath coming back and down into the ground. And now just circling the arms up above your head, breathing in, taking the hands down to your heart, breathing out. And that's the end of this little tutorial here for EBR1. It's not a full session, really this would just be the beginning of a class and we'd move on to the asanas in a moment. But for now, just to say namaste, the light in me recognises the light in you. I'm wishing you all peace. Om Shanti.